Hi everyone. It is uh, day five after Zometa and I feel fine. <laughs> Done. <laughs> um, it's Saturday night um, and I had my Zometa infusion on Tuesday. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, so day five. Um, yeah, all side effects are gone basically. Um, <laughs> sorry. It's so funny because when I did my talk show, I would spend so much time like making sure that like my hair was perfect and the background was just right and everything was like angled right with the one third, two thirds and all that stuff. And with these vlogs, I'm just like, go. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel fine. Um, as quickly as side effects come on, that's pr pretty much as quickly as they go away. So I, um, I, I'd say the only thing that still is lingering a little bit, and I'm sure this will linger for like another week or so, um, it's just that my, uh, my joints are just a little bit achy. Um, not the typical achy that I have with the tamoxifen and stuff. Um, but again, like this morning when I was, uh, washing dishes or something, like my hands just hurt. So I had to just stop. Um, but I, uh, did not sleep well last night. That has nothing to do with the Zometa. It's the stupid CPAP thing, which I still have to sort out. Um, but I, I, yeah, I, I feel okay. Um, the acid feeling that I had, like, is gone. Um, no fever. Uh, the nausea and just not feeling right. Like, I don't feel that at all. I, I would say with food, I'm still kind of eating um, somewhat bland food. Um, just because my stomach's not, like, ready to go full whole hog back to my regular diet. Um, but I'm sure by tomorrow it'll be fine. So as sucky as it is, <laughs> when it first starts, and, like, I you saw those vlogs from a couple days ago. Like, I'm officially ending my Zometa 5 five part mini series here of what the infusions that what the infusions are like um cuz yeah I'm, I'm basically back to like being fine uh what what else is going on I don't even remember um oh my hand um she messed up with the she, she my other infusions if you're just watching this one my other infusions they would take blood work from um, my my the inside of my elbow, and then they would do the infusion in my hand. Um, but I went to a different hospital this time from because uh, I switched oncologists, and they took blood work from my hand, and then also tried to do the infusion from my hand. But she like blew the vein or something and injected like the stuff was like bubbling up and she's like whoopsie and I'm like well what's 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 whoopsie and so she took the needle out and then so my hand and then she ended up using my forearm for the infusion which was weird but my forearm is fine but my hand is um it's is dark now but it's kind of hard to see it's still a little black and blue um, it was really black and blue it's just nighttime so you can't see it as much um, but it doesn't hurt as much. Um, I was able to, um, I got like 5,000 steps in today, just walking around looking at furniture and stuff. Cause if anything, what's in my space is that I'm, <laughs> I'm hitting the one year anniversary mark of when my apartment fluttered and it was kind of weirding me out. Um, I'm still not even fully unpacked here yet. Um, but I went to a furniture store today and I was looking for just like lamps and, a desk, um, little odds and ends of things that I lost and, and haven't, um, haven't purchased yet. Uh, room wasn't built in a day and it's just annoying. And it's been like stupid cold here. It's like teens, I think pretty much. <laughs> so the temperature was today, but I was able to go shopping and I, I walked for quite a bit and, um, I, uh, yeah, I used tape measures to measure some pieces of furniture that I thought looked nice, and my hand didn't bother me. And then I went to another store after that, and then I went to um, the grocery store after that to get stuff for dinner and a couple odds and ends, and then came home. And then I was carrying, when I came home, I was carrying three bags and 
they were pretty heavy bags. So, um, obviously my hand is like, it's not a hundred percent, but it's functional and fine. So, um, yeah, that's all I'm going to, this is like super short. That's all I'm going to say for today. Um, I just wanted to, um, come on and be like, you know, it's, it's, <laughs> it sucks. It's the infusion itself is like what it is, you know, you just got to be kind to your body and then know it's not going to last forever. And at least for me, you know, I'd rather have a week of like feeling like shit and well, six weeks total, I guess. Um, you know, even if it lingers a little bit longer, I, I I would rather have that and just suck it up for now than have issues with the cancer coming back or the cancer being in my bones and um, my bones not being strong as I get older. Like, you know, I'm, I'm 52 now. I can just suck it up and just deal with what I was dealing with. Um, no meds at all today. I'm just like back to the regular meds I normally would take. Um, I even switched out my helix piercing today. That was interesting. See that? It's a little leaf. Um, yeah, I bought, <laughs> I don't know, that was kind of a, a <laughs> not a dumb decision, but my, my cartilage feels weird. Like, I don't know if it's like messed up or <laughs> something. It looks fine from the front. I don't know. <laughs> But man, it could, to put a to put a helix piercing in is no easy feat, man. I, I guess that that's a sign that I'm truly feeling better. Because to do this by yourself is like such a big deal. Oh my god, I'm getting my roots done next week. Because um, <laughs> you can't see the back of your ear, so you're going by what it feels like. And like for me, there's like a bump on the back of my of where the piercing is. And if I had the patience to fiddle around with that, granted, I tried another earring first that I bought that had a flat back and um, it just, it, it wasn't deep enough. So like I could get it in through the back, which was pretty cool given that I can't see behind my ear. But I, <laughs> when I pushed it through, it wasn't coming out the other side because the, um, the earring's too short. I think it's not made for a helix. I think it's made for some other thinner part of your ear. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I did eventually get this one through. <laughs> so we'll just have to see how uncomfortable or comfortable it is when I have the CPAP machine on and actually sleep. So we'll see. Anyway, but I was able to do that. So obviously I'm feeling better. So uh, yeah, so this is the start to finish from what Zometa looks like. And um, my next one is six months away and that will be my last one. Hurrah! If you have any questions or anything at all, like go 10 go, you did it. <laughs> One more and then like no big drama appointments, knock on wood. Um, yeah. It's also, I think like a year to the day that I had my second surgery done too. There's so many like milestone things that pop up um, that just makes you like wonder my my second reconstruct my the second the reconstruction revision the second surgery that I had overall was only like maybe an hour or something I mean of actually being in surgery um but I didn't nearly have the issues that I had the first time through granted um after a week is when my apartment <laughs> flooded so there really was no time for um you know messing around or whatever like I. Uh, well, whatever. That's a longer story, but I don't, I know that I need, I most likely will need another surgery. I have an appointment on Tuesday, I think, of next week um, with plastics, and um, I feel like I'm going to need another surgery on my right side just to fix some stuff. Um, it's just starting to bother me a little bit. Um, and then we had to discuss my nipple tattooing which I'm not having done just yet because I still don't have my wrist tattoo done yet. So again, Rome wasn't built in a day. You know, I gotta, now that I'm better, I'd like to go, I'd like to go a full tax here without using any of my paid family medical leave um, money <laughs> or leave of absence, whatever. Um, yeah, I'd like, I'd like 2024 to be the year of not needing medical leave for, for anything. So here's hoping. 
All right, I'm going to sign off. If you have questions, comments, whatever, stick them down below. Ooh, sorry. Um, or again, if you want to message me privately, you can go to the Facebook page, Invasive Ductal Carsa What, and ask me whatever you want to ask me about this whole meta thing or whatever. All right, talk soon. Bye.